hands lifted up with my mouth filled with praise with the heart of thanksgiving i'll bless thee o lord with my hands lifted up name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen. amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit dear brothers and sisters today we remember one of the greatest saints of this century saint padre pio of pietralcina let us seek in a very special way his intercession and to prepare these sacred mysteries let us surrender before the lord all our weaknesses and our failures and pray for the mercy of god i confess to, to almighty god, god and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen amen kiri ela Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest Saint Pio a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the suffering of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen
the first reading. A reading from the prophet Haggai, chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. In the second year of King Darius, on the first day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord was addressed through the prophet Haggai to Zanobabel, son of Shetiel, high commissioner of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehuzadak, the high priest has followers. The Lord of hosts says this, this people say, the time has not yet come to rebuild the temple of the Lord. And the word of the Lord was addressed through the prophet Haggai as follows. Is this a time for you to live in your paneled houses? When this house lies in ruins, so now the Lord of hosts says this, reflect carefully how things have gone for you. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat but never have enough. Drink but never have your fill. Put on clothes but do not feel warm. The wage earner gets his wages only to put them in a purse riddled by holes. Reflect carefully how things have gone for you. So go to the hill country, fetch wood and rebuild the house. I shall then take pleasure in it and be glorified there says the Lord the word of the Lord thanks, thanks be to God the Lord takes delight in his people the Lord Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name with dancing. And make music with tremble and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips. This honor is for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. Kindly rise to the gospel acclamation. The truth and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me.
the lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory, glory to, to you, you o lord, lord. Now Herod the ruler heard about all that had taken place and he was perplexed because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead by some that Elijah had appeared and by others that one of the ancient prophets had risen Herod said John I beheaded but who is this about whom I hear such things and he tried to see him the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ. christ dear brothers and sisters the last statement he read tried to see jesus and we know this desire was not from a genuine heart because his heart was full of evil that's why he beheaded john the baptist now there is fear in his heart or we do not know maybe a feeling of guilt anxiety out of these negative feelings and emotions he wanted to see jesus but everyone else in the gospel we see they seek jesus for healing for healing of the heart for forgiveness for deliverance they wanted to meet jesus and today as i said in the beginning we reflect about a person who was completely united with the lord especially through the pain through the suffering of his life that is saint pio padre pio he is called padre pio padre pio even during his life he attracted thousands of people because in his life many things were manifested uh, which were not able to explain by the science as we know as you have heard he was a priest with stigmata the wounds of jesus and uh, he had the gift of bilocation he was able to speak with mother mary and angels he was able to read the hearts of the people that's why even when the sinners come for confession if they were not fully revealing their sins Padre Pio he was able to reveal their sins to them and help them to make the confession he was able to read the hearts that's what we read even in his biography a priest from Poland came to Padre Pio at that time and as Padre Pio had the gift of prophecy he prophesied that this priest would become the honor of the seat of peter in rome and later that priest became a bishop then a cardinal and then he became pope and he is the pope john paul the second and he is the one who beatified and canonized padre pio in 2008 his body was exhumed from his crypt Uh, for study and for public display and that is the time again his name was spread all over the world and thousands were flowing to 
San Giovanni in Rotondo. I remember in 2009, I had uh, a chance to spend one month in that pilgrim center, the sanctuary of Saint Padre Pio. And we priests, we were sitting the whole day to hear the confession. And I could understand one thing, the people were flowing there and they were not just visiting the place or the body of uh, Padre Pio, which was even at that time uh, displayed for public veneration. The people, those who were coming there, they were doing three things. First one, they all were going for sacrament of reconciliation, confession. Second, they were participating in the Holy Eucharistic celebration. And third, all of them were reciting Holy Rosary. The reason is that in the life of Saint Padre Pio, these three things, uh, for these three things, he gave much attention. And he was famous for that. You might have heard even his celebration of Holy Mass was for many hours. And at that time, he had a lot of heavenly visions. And people were flowing to attend his Holy Mass. And hours he was sitting in the uh, confessional to hear the confession of the people. And his special devotion to Mother Mary. That's why I said... He had visions of Mother Mary and he was able to speak to her. Many things beyond the understanding of our reason. But he could lead the people to the Lord. Not just to him. Through him, many people came to Jesus. And two things we want to reflect about his life. And at the time of his beatification, John Paul II, Saint John Paul II, the Pope at that time, he said, "No, the outstanding school of love is the cross of Christ. The cross of Christ is the outstanding school of love in which this faithful was sanctified. He was talking about Padre Pio. Because Padre Pio had to undergo a lot of pain, physical and emotional suffering, sufferings in his life. Because, as I said before, the pain of stigmata. When you see his picture, you will see his hand is covered uh, with cloths. He was undergoing pain, physical pain. And a lot of emotional struggle because... Even the church was not ready to recognize and accept what he was telling and what he was undergoing at that time. So a lot of medical examinations were done by different teams appointed by Vatican at that time upon Padre Pio. Even uh, by the psychiatrist because uh, this uh, stigmata and his experience of bilocation, what he was telling, all these things were under doubt. So a lot of uh, struggles in his life. He suffered a lot. But Pope John Paul II, as I said before, he was very much convinced of his divine experiences. And second thing uh, that was also said by Pope John Paul II at the time of uh, his canonization. He was a great dispenser of divine mercy. A great dispenser of divine mercy, that is, mainly through the sacrament of reconciliation, confession. When the sinners were coming to Padre Pio, they, they received the forgiveness from the Lord, not only that their hearts were healed by his attitude, by the very presence of Padre Pio. We could say the presence of the Lord Jesus, which was manifested in this saint. 
That's why he is known as the apostle of divine mercy or is also known as the second uh, Francis of Assisi. Of course, he was uh, a member of the order of St. Francis of Assisi Capuchins. So while we celebrate his feast today, let us uh, reflect these three things for which he spent his life and today even people are attracted to the Lord by his intercession. A special devotion to Mother Mary, love for sacrament of confession and sacrament of Holy Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Padre Pio, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always sent everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints. And in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, show us support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was entered he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the francis our pope and george our archbishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on a soul we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints with saint padre pio who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be kais to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen, amen. at the service command and formed to by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours Now, now and, and forever. forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us 
Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart I embrace you as you are already there in my heart I unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Padre Pio, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is entered. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our.